Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. Today we're gonna do Jenny's Ice Cream. 8675309. We're gonna eat it and we're gonna love it. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Today we're gonna do Jenny's Ice Cream from Columbus or the Ohio area. You're welcome for getting that song stuck in your head. Who else likes that song? Put it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I had it stuck in my head earlier and I thought we might as well go with it. So like I said today, we're going to be doing Jenny's ice cream. I've heard so much about this ice cream. We will be doing the brown butter almond brittle. It's brown butter. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, almond candy crushed into buttercream ice cream. This is actually very reminiscent of something my grandmother would make. My grandmother used to make um, candy at the holidays, specifically Christmas and peanut brittle was something she made. I don't know if she ever made almond brittle, but it's definitely something she made. So, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. You do. Like I said, guys, we got a new camera, so work with me here. Still working on the focus features. Trying to work everything out. So for the calorie conscious crowd, this is 960 calories per container, and I believe this is one pint, 960, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up and get into it. Like I said, um, my shirt might be a little wrinkled. My grandmother would be appalled. I uh, Work with me here. Work with me. And as you notice, got a little new hairdo. Got out of the shower like this. So I thought, might as well go with it. Why not? Why not try something a little new for the fans? So... <clears throat> That's good. That's really good. Definitely taste the brown butter right away and the almonds. It's really nice. It's nice and creamy. It's, it's hotter here. We're working, people. It seems like I can't win for losing. I tried to stop working out. Man, that's actually really good. Try to stop working out before I do the show. Drop some on the table. Um, but unfortunately, so hot here. I guess it doesn't matter. Man, this is actually... This is not something I would normally buy outside of the show, but this is really, really good. So this is... Um, says non-fat milk, cream, cane sugar, almond brittle, bunch of big words I can't say, tapioca syrup, sea salt, look at that, my face, uh, sea salt, natural flavors, whatever that means, milk, tree nuts, it's also got grass grazed milk, you can definitely taste the uh, difference in the milk, and it's gluten free, it's definitely not a more processed milk. Um, it's definitely, say, a higher quality ingredients, and that's kind of what Jenny's is known for. From what I understand, her brand kind of pioneered artisanal and high quality ingredients, or was one of the brands who pioneered that. Uh, they really focus on quality over quantity. It's very flavorful. I would say to me it's a little lighter than other ice creams. Um, <clears throat> definitely good fat content. Uh, maybe not, maybe not as dense as I would personally like, but not taken away from the brand. It's really fantastic. So Jenny Brittenbauer, give you a little bit of history lesson. I was originally going to Ohio State. Um, from what I understand, she was majoring in, I believe, history. And one of her friends who was a chemist, uh, helped her to start a perfume I just spit all over everywhere. Brand. And she was dabbling in that for a while. And then she realized that ice creams held scent really well. So she started making her own ice cream brands or ice creams with specific scents in them. From there, kind of became like a thing of hers originally. while she was going to Ohio State, from what I understand, or directly after. 
I guess there's this market called North Market in Columbus, Ohio. Who knows where that's at? Who's from Columbus, Ohio? Who's from Ohio? Put it on the comments below if you know where that's at or if you're from Ohio. Great state. Got a lot of friends from the Marine Corps there. They didn't see, North Market didn't see um, the hype. It was back in the 90s. They didn't really understand ice cream like that. Not people in general, but North Market. Uh, so they actually denied her many times. She failed quite a bit. Um, so for those of you who were thinking about quitting, don't. Never give up. Seriously, never give up. Uh, from what I understand, uh, there was a PBS episode special that um, about ice cream. They kind of changed their mind. So in 1996, she opened up her first store called Scream Ice Cream. Un momento. Yeah, Scream Ice Cream. Um, and in 2002, she opened up um, this current ice cream, uh, a current ice cream store called, um, one second, Jenny's Splendid Ice Cream. So, uh, got a little notes over here, got a little notes over there. So, this brand is now going nationwide. Um, kind of just started off her and her boyfriend. Eventually they brought other people in. It's definitely a higher quality brand in my opinion. A little expensive, but in my opinion worth the money. As you get deeper into it, I would say that you can't really taste the almond candy as much, but you can definitely taste the uh, the buttercream and the brown butter. Um, There's kind of like chunks. I don't know. I got hair on my lip. <laughs> if you can kind of see further in there, there's, oh, I just got ice cream everywhere. Awesome. <laughs> Deeper in there, um, there are chunks of um, almond candy, crushed almond candy. I got hair in my mouth. Anyway, we're moving forward. Oh, anybody ever get hair in their mouth? <laughs> it's not from the ice cream, by the way. It's from a beard that I need to shave. But anyway, we're moving forward. Who likes beards? Anybody like beards? I know some of you ladies do. Um, something that I had to get used to over time. I couldn't grow one in forever. Put it down in the comments below. While you're there, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and press that notification button so you can get our stuff as soon as it comes out. Who's ever had Jenny's? Did you like it? Let me know what you think about it. Um, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps our show out a lot. But yeah, this is this is a quality ice cream. Um, I will say maybe I'd like a little bit more peanut brittle in it. We're not peanut brittle. Almond brittle in it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of almonds, but this particular almond brittle candy is actually really good. Although as you get deeper towards the bottom, you can kind of taste it more. Um, it's really good. I'd say on a scale of one to a hundred, 10 point grading scale. I give it like an 85. It's really good. Um, as far as the quality of ice cream goes, the ingredients, they're, they're, they're excellent ingredients. Uh, However, it's not necessarily something I would regularly pick out outside of the show, but, but it is really good. So that's a winner. That is a winner. Yeah. 85. It's a solid B for sure. Some of you might consider it a little higher. That's okay. Go try this out. Put it down in the comments of this video. Let me know what you think about it. And while you're there, what did you think about the last ice cream? You thought I forgot. I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out the last ice cream. See if you can find it. Put it on the comments of that video below. Um, go try to find Jenny's. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's a it's a quality brand for sure. I'd say it's probably more of a. Um, they say it's artisanal. I'd say it's borderline super premium premium, which super premium could be make the case that it that is artisanal, right on that borderline. 
I would say personally, maybe a little bit more fat and a little denser. That's just my personal opinion of, of what would make it better and more, more artisanal. However, I do understand they become a nationwide brand. And as you get bigger, the quality of the product, which is still really great, um, lessons because of, you know, oversight and other things. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. Go try it. See if you can find it. Like I said, put it on the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in every week. I appreciate you. Tell your friends, tell your family. If you're on YouTube, check us out on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, check us out on YouTube. Thank you so much for coming to eat ask for me. Listen to me ramble, ramble, and I will. See you next time, guys.